Hi everyone, my name is Daryl. So in this week's video, I'm going to provide some tips for how to search for and find your perfect used GTR. So the first thing that you need to do is establish a budget. Based on that, you'll be able to determine the year and the mileage of the GTR that you can afford. I created a video previously that had some pricing guidelines and I'd recommend that you follow that video. So now we can start our search. I've been reviewing various used car websites over the last couple of days. They all sort of search the same national database, but they all work a little bit differently and can give you different information and have different features. And these are the ones that I would recommend that you use specifically for the GTR. The first site that I'd recommend is CarGurus. CarGurus pretty consistently found the most amount of GTRs. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my search. I've got an $80,000 budget and I want a 2014 GTR or later. Based on the pricing guidelines that I suggested, I could probably get a car with about 40,000 miles or less, but I'm going to be flexible and I'm going to put in 50,000 miles. So let's see what it brings up. So Car Gurus found five GTRs for us to look at. If you notice, as I click on the actual car, I can get additional information about it. Some real important information that it provides is a history of the car, including any accidents, the number of owners, as well as the status of the title. Once you're done looking at the cars, you can then save the search so that you can go back to it later and also have it update you and send you an email if ever a price changes about a particular car or if any new vehicles show up for that particular query. So the second site that I'd recommend that you use is called True Car. And to be honest, I actually like this a little bit better than Car Gurus. So I'm going to put in the same query. And if you notice, it comes up with five cars as well. But what's great about True Cars is it shows you right on that front page, it shows you the number of owners, any accidents, the number of accidents, and the status of the title. So having that information to you right on the front page is really nice. So one of the great features of True Car is that you can create a query including the number of accidents and the number of owners of a particular car as well as the title status. So no other website does this. And I think that's super helpful. So once you save that query, it can automatically send you updates based on any pricing changes or if any new vehicles are fit the criteria of that particular search. So I do recommend for all of these sites that you create an account. And then once that account is established, you can save that query and then have it automatically send you an email if there are any updates as opposed to having to visit the site every day, let the websites do the work. So that's another thing I'd like to discuss is how many accidents are too many? How many owners are too many? Do you want a GTR that's been in an accident? Do you want a GTR that has been owned by five different people? One of the things about the GTR that's different from most of the other cars that I've looked at is how many owners own GTRs? So I've seen GTRs that have over seven owners. And for every owner, you have the potential for abuse of that car as well as lack of maintenance. So the last site that I would recommend that you look at is Auto Tempest. Auto Tempest is really cool because it's kind of like an aggregator of multiple used car websites. So it pulls data from most of the used car websites and puts it into one place for you, which is really cool. It pulls from cars.com, True Car, eBay, Craigslist. Um, it is really a cool website. And so you basically fill out a form, put all the information in that you want it to look for, and it sends the query off. So let's look and see what it grabs. So it will include most of the cars that we've been looking at before. But what's really nice is it also aggregates Craigslist. So a lot of people put stuff on Craigslist, so you can click on the Craigslist link and then it pull, will pull up multiple windows from the various Craigslist locations automatically and you can look through those. If you don't have an account that you actually create, but you can have it send you an email whenever it senses that there's new cars that are available based on the queries that you created. So that's really cool. The other thing that you want to think about is location. So 
you could typically put 100 miles away that it will look for cars, how far it is away from you. I would just do a nationwide search and then you can easily sort based on the location, how far it is from you. But think about how far it is that you want to travel in order to get your GTR. It's important to have that in mind as you're doing your search. So the last thing that you should do is look at the GTR Life Classifieds page. A lot of owners use the GTR Life forum quite a bit and they put their GTRs for sale up there. It's super helpful to get a history of the owner as well as the history of a car. So that's it. I hope by reviewing these used car websites and providing these suggestions will make your GTR search just a little bit easier. In my next video, I'll be talking about some strategies that you can use when you find your GTR to make sure that it's the one right for you, because I don't want you going across the state or across the country if it's not the right car. As always, if you found value in this video, please consider liking it. You really wouldn't believe how much YouTube looks at the likes and how much those likes can do to help with my channel. I hope to see you again in the next one very soon. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year.